Can you swim, Chris? Uh, in a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never tried it in a lake. My brother, that is one regret that I have right now. I cannot swim. Man. I, no. You know, I could probably, I'm sure I can survive, but uh, I'm not going to go just jump out there. We used to do it for survival training while I was in the military. And every time I would wake up, somebody standing over me with their mouth down my throat because <laughs> I didn't pass out on the water. <laughs> <laughs> A tech savvy rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL 1800 Honda Goldwing. That Goldwing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. Indians wrong. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what it is, man. What you think about that, Jason? Man, this is incredible. And they usually do some uh, shows out here during the summer, too. Yeah. Uh, in fact, they got one going on right now. Uh, they do uh, plays and shows and reenactments out here. Hmm. If, if you want some entertainment, this is where to come, man. This is the place to come. Yep. Because no matter where you ride to, it's something going on somewhere out here. And people just ride around, man, just to come out here and look at it. Are these are these the rocks that they use from the actual terrain or are these? Yeah, these. I'm sure they wasn't brought in. No, no, they actually to pull all this stuff out the mountains, man. We used to do uh, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, well, I can't even think of the name of it. But yeah, these are the actual rocks they pulled up out the mountains, man. My phone would ring while I was recording. I hope it didn't delete my, I hope it didn't uh, turn my audio off. Yeah, I was checking mine to see if it was mine on because it was coming in so clear. What, what was coming in clear there? Right there? The, the uh, phone ringing. Are oh, you hearing my phone ringing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's all over my videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my phone always ring every time I make a video. It's all good. It's all good. And what guy said, what? he said, Chris, why don't you turn your phone off? <laughs> hey, Memphis, hey, Memphis Mike told me the same thing. He said, man, I'm getting tired of you saying that. Why don't you just turn the damn thing off? <laughs> I, like, I said, you know what, Mike? I said, you make it perfect sense, but I can't do it. I, that's how I make money, man. Right, right, right. That defeats the purpose. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, you and Chris Caliente, boy, y'all make me sick with that. Why don't y'all just turn them phones off? I said, nope. That's, that's, can't I, do it. Uh-uh. Mm. Phone is the money yeah. maker. My ship might be coming in. I, I need to keep my phone on. <laughs> I'm surprised the GoPro lasts this long. Probably because it's not real hot out here. We real hot. The GoPro be like, shut down. I'm having a problem with with my GoPro, man. Where it would uh, it would die as soon as it got through. It, it would get through charging. Uh, it have a full charge, and the minute I hit the record button, it would be dead. And I I couldn't figure it out, man. And then it dawned on me, dummy, the battery is no good. Oh yeah. So yeah, the battery just won't hold the charge. Yeah, and so I had to end up buying me some whole new sets of batteries just so I could start recording again. That was the other reason why I didn't record for a while too. Yeah, you didn't go back with no uh, aftermarket. You went back with the OEM. Yeah, I tried the aftermarket and with the with the Hero Five, and they got it where you can't even use it because the, the system is going to detect that it's not a GoPro battery, so it's not going to let you. Uh, Wow. It's not. Them. Yeah, so they didn't hyped up the tech on, on which battery you can use for a GoPro. Which one is that one again? The Hero 5. The 5? Yeah, I just bought the Hero 7. I ain't got it. I haven't even unpacked it yet. I got a Hero 7 I was going to use for an interview camera. Uh, it, it looks just like the Hero 5, and it's got the same type of battery, but it's uh, different for it's the audio. It, man, the audio come in so clear on that 7. Oh, okay. But like I said, I'll be using it as an interview type of camera, so 
you know, I won't be messing with it until around wing ding time if I make it out there. Right, right, right. Yeah, I hadn't made any plans myself. Can you swim, Craig? Uh, in a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never tried it in a lake. My brother, that is one regret that I have right now. I cannot swim. I, no. You know, I could probably, I'm sure I can survive, but uh, I'm not going to go just jump out there. We used to do it for survival training while I was in the military. And every time I would wake up, somebody standing over me with their mouth down my throat. Because <laughs> I done passed out on the water. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim, man. I ain't going to even try to lie. I mean, try to perpetrate like I can. I can't, man. I can't. What's up, brother? So you wake up. You wake up, huh? They reviving you. Huh? Yeah, man. What was you in the, you in the uh, Army? Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. We used to do comeback training for, uh, for uh, survival training. Okay. And that was one of them. And boy, everybody used to love getting, they used to call me Sergeant Fuck It. Cause that's, a, <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's exactly what I was saying every time the trainer came up. I was like, nope, no, fuck that, I ain't going. <laughs> so, oh oh man. <laughs> But yeah, man, my military days were my best days, man. I love it. I, I don't miss it, but I do miss the the uh, the camaraderie. Yeah, man, and, and I'm starting to see all of it, you know, with the bike community, meeting guys who like to, you know, enjoy riding. It reminds me of, of that type of camaraderie, man. Yeah. And so, and, and that's what I like about it. My me being in the military, hey, I, I did my time, you know, I served my country, blah blah blah. But it's the camaraderie that I miss, and I'm starting to get that back with the with the fellowship of you know of, of people that like to ride, man. So yeah, and that's why I enjoy it the most. In fact, that's the only real reason why I go to Wing Ding, to be honest with you, because I want to meet the meet the people. Meet the people, yeah. So you got every accessory for your bike and need. Yeah, and I'm like, if I look, if I spend another dime on an accessory, my wife probably kill me. <laughs> 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 so. You know, that's what it's all about, man. Just meeting people now. That's right. I keep ready to pull out of there. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, uh, that's the other thing, too. You got a lot of police out here that's riding around in these Jeeps and uh, four-wheel trucks. You don't know it's the police until you do one, one, min uh, one speed over the speed limit. Really? They pulling you over. They don't play out here, man. Wildlife out here, is, this is their home. You're just visiting. And they make sure you realize that when they pull you over because them tickets are not cheap. Wow. So if it's, if it's a speed sign posted, you, you better be doing it. Is it the game warden or is it just regular, just regular nah, they got Man, they got, uh, they got regular police out here too. You got the game warden. You got range uh, officers out here, man. At one point, I think they was they was even using uh, helicopters out here, man, making sure nobody was speeding. Wow. And like I said, when they come to this wildlife area right here, they do not play, bro. They they want they want you to know that this is for them, the wildlife. Yeah. Hmm. I was gonna do some drone roundup uh, with the animals. Take the drone and round up me, you know, some of the cows <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it like, as long as you ain't causing no harm to him, you should be good. <laughs> Round him up. Yeah, these mountains are really nice. The other thing about coming out here, man, if you're really into um, 
outdoors uh, sports type of stuff like cl mountain climbing and rock climbing and all that type of stuff, this is the perfect place to come out here and do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because most of these mountains, they got hike uh, uh, hike trails out here where you can actually climb the uh, walk these trails. And then some of these mountains are specifically just for you to climb on them. So, hmm. it, you know, and they, they got them set up out here pretty nice, man. You just, oh, okay. if you're an outdoor type of person, Long Nogo Homer, you would love it. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to keep my feet planted on the ground. Yeah, yeah, me too, bro. So, <laughs> I watch you do it, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go watch Jason do it. I'll go watch Jason find him out. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, like Baker. Huh? We say your bike can take it, huh? Look <laughs> yeah. at my bike up there. It would be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, why was the uh, why Lady Love and, them, uh, and Humdinger didn't come out with you? Cause I know my wife missed the hell out of Lady Love. Um, I don't, they just said they, you know, they had they couldn't do it. They, I guess they had some other things going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had some other plans. Man, those are two people right there. I I never expected for them to have that type of friendship. They I mean they instantly just went for each other, man. They was like them two was man, they were like sisters, man. As soon as they met, <laughs> yeah, my wife, oh, yeah. yeah, my wife still talk about her, man. Yeah, oh yeah, they love good people, man. Very good people. Like a military line or something. Now this is where they have the little uh, setups where you can go in and read the the wall uh, setup where they was telling you the history about this area. Uh -huh. And uh, most of the stuff is tell you this is where this used to happen, this is where that used to happen. And okay. they they got these little setups like you just saw back there. You can go in and read the walls, and it'll tell you what this area or that particular area was all about. So, oh, okay. yeah, it's like a historian type of, you know, display where you can go read about what's going on. Yeah. Well, some of my uh, Greek ancestors was Indian. What? Yep. Greek Indian. So what, what nationality do you actually fall under? Man, you know I'm a brother. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, you, the, the minute you got some type of black in you, they gonna always say you're black. But you know, you got it mixed in you. Besides, no, no, I mean, I just know. Uh, I see the cops up here. My radar is definitely going off. Um, I just know I got. Uh, my ancestors was, was Creek Indian. On my, uh, on my granddaddy's side. On my, yeah, on my granddaddy's side. Mm -mm. Uh huh. See, this is what I was telling you, man. These police, they, they, they don't play, man. They catch you speeding out here. Yo, they are so serious about this area out here. They, they'll actually snatch you out your car and take you to jail. If they stop me, I'm gonna say, look, I'm riding with black flags. <laughs> so, a tech savvy rider. Yeah, like I said. I mean, you know, I know, you know, you the popo and everything, but you know, I'm riding with Connie Luckett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. Forget that. We taking him too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but we've been looking for him. <laughs> he the one that got them videos. Uh, you check your permit. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. He good. He ex military. He tight. Oh, that's kind of warm, man. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to do that. Ancestry.com. That uh, what what is it called? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Ancestry.com. Yeah, I, I need to do it. Yeah, I, I had never did that officially, but I, I really need to do it. Cause I know when my wife first saw you, the first thing she said, he looked Puerto Rican. <laughs> um, uh, she, she said she claimed you looked at more. Puerto Rican or Hispanic or something. S A S tu chico Chris Caliente. Oh yeah, and you did something like that. You, <laughs> you did something oh, like weird. yeah, you did something like that on one of your videos. She said, I told you, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. So. <laughs> You know, you can't argue with her, especially, when, especially when you do something like this. She's like, oh, I told you. I'm I know like, how, well. I know how women are. I told you, like, once they forget something in their mind, you can't change No, you can't. You I can't. Told you, it's the truth. I told you. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to go edit some of this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to edit some of it out. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. I don't know. I'm always saying what's on my mind, man. So yeah, you, I know. you don't care. I don't be caring, but you know. Either, either you love me or you hate me. <laughs> I don't care what this lady play. Oh, you took a me on that video. This is where I live. This is my house. You're welcome to drop by. <laughs> I will be glad to meet you. Mm -hmm. Some you said. Mm -hmm. But man, you had me cracking up, man. Yeah, man, it's just, it just amazing what people try to hide behind on a fake Facebook or a fake YouTube profile, man. I'm like the stuff that come out of their mouth. Oh, yeah, you're a real big-time bully, but the minute, you know, you come around me in person, the first thing coming out your mouth is, how you doing, sir? And I'm like, come on, man, you know. <laughs> so. Man, sometimes I watch your videos, kind of just to get a good laugh, man. Cause I, it's like I wonder what he gonna say next. <laughs> <laughs> like when you were talking about the, the video where you somebody uh, almost ran you off the road, and uh, they they end up coming over and they, they end up going off into the ditch themselves. Oh man! And you laugh and, and you went on and went home, but you turn around and went back. Oh man! And then you came back, went down the hill to try to check on the people who were still in the car. And, you was ready to, you went on the passenger side because you was ready to get it on with the guy in the car. <laughs> oh, man. You see, that's one thing about me. I ain't going to never try to, you know, call myself man up around a woman. You know, I saw a woman was driving the car, so I stayed my distance. But the minute I saw that dude punch that windshield, I said, yeah, he wants some. So I'm going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it to him. So I'm going on that side right there. I remember yeah. that, man. You had me cracking. Oh, man. Yeah, so, man, I was like, okay. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna make all jokes aside, that woman scared the heck out of me, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was the end, man. I really did. She made me so upset. I was like, man, I bet just better go home and go to sleep. That's yeah, how. You said you was real mad about it. And the sad part about it, man, is I see it all the time, especially if I'm riding around at night. That's why I don't make many videos at night anymore either, because this biker will grab your attention. Right. And, and people just don't realize what they're doing, but I'm so paranoid. I'm already knowing what they're going to do. Right. So, I, oh, shit. Uh-oh. I'm flying. Hold on, hold on. Don't stop, uh -oh. don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, Joe, Joe slowed down on me, so I ain't want to run into him. I'm going to use my language. I want him to stop. <laughs> yeah, look. Man, that thing was huge. Yep. Yeah. I saw the I saw the horns on that joker. I was like, oh. Where you at, Jake? I'm back here. I was gonna try and pet it. <laughs> <laughs> and my heart dropped. My, I'm thinking, right, look, you ain't gonna have time to turn around. Not, not with a trailer. Oh no. Mm -mm. A tech savvy rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL 1800 Honda Goldwing. That gold wing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. 